Let me see. Hello, and this is Kenta Kuradani, and welcome to the Metroid 2 100% speedrunning tutorial. In this, I'll give you every little bit of thing that you need to know in order to be able to speedrun this game in the 100% category. I can't really give you any percent because I don't know it, but I'll give you my best here. Before we get going on the route, I'm just going to give you a quick overview of how the game works. Like, different. There's a few different movement strats you need to know. Not all of them I can show off in the first areas, and those so those will be addressed as uh, as I get there to the areas where they're either necessary or at least I can give you a better demonstration. But uh, I'll be using the landing set to demonstrate a few. So why don't we get going? and head on to the game. Here, I'll let the title screen theme finish. It'll be a nice segment ender. Do a good job. The title screen actually does look really nice. Alright, so, this is the planet. As far as I can tell, yeah, Samus has a three part, a three beam limit on screen. You can mash as fast as you can, as long as, as long as there's not more than three on any screen at the same time, you can just spam the heck out of your beam. Now. If you'll notice, if you've ever seen any of my runs, I don't run around. At least not until later in the run. This is because until you get the Varia suit, which boosts your horizontal momentum, running is always faster than rolling on the ground. Or always slower, rather. Rolling around has a speed of 2 pixels per second on screen, or 2 pixels per frame, I think it is. Whereas running has, without Varia, has a speed of 1.5. Jumping is even slower than that, which is why you want to spend as much time on the ground as possible. R jumping is about one pixel per frame. Another movement technique that you want, gonna want to know is what I call it's essentially like ledge grabbing in Super Metroid. If you spin jump right into the corner of a ledge just right, like right, you'll see that uh. Dang it. No, this isn't a really good place to show you, but, uh, here. Let's see if I can maybe do it to the left of the ship. Nah. You need to be, by the way, you need to, that's another thing. Um, when you're jumping, you can control your momentum until you hit half the height of the jump, until you hit over half the height of the jump. If you go over half the height of the jump, then you have to do the full jump. That's just how the momentum works in this game. Yes, running is slow, and so you shouldn't be doing it. Alright. Hello, Samario. So, uh... You start out with some missiles as well. You're never going to actually use them, at least if you're doing the 100% run, because you'll never return to this room. But there is a re energy refill on here, over here, and a missile refill in your ship. So, how I'll be doing the route? Oh, this, there's another thing. That's right. There's one more thing I can show you. Is uh, in this game, like in Metroid One, the game. I'm actually debating if this was done on purpose by the developers, since it existed in Metroid One. But uh, you can unmorph jump. If you unmorph and hold up, I think you don't. Well, you don't have to hold up, but if you press A shortly after unmorphing, like very shortly after unmorphing, you've got like I think about a quarter of a second window in which you can jump. 
This is also can be combined with bombs to extend your and send your jumps even further, as well as spring ball. So, how I'll be doing each room is that I will save state at the start of the room, explain the room to you, and then show you the room at speed. So, in the first in the first lane, in the landing site here. Oh, there's one more thing, by the way. If you'll notice, there's two different, like, beyond just jumping, you can get different jump heights. If you crouch jump, it'll cut the maximum velocity of your jump in half. You also can't uh, spin jump if you crouch jump. This is useful for climbing certain passages where you don't want to be doing full jumps the whole time because you spend wasted time up in the air, which is really slow, as I already mentioned. So crouch jumping is useful, like say if you wanted to get, not on the same as a ship, because that's t too tall, but uh, like you see in a part in the Chozo Ruins, I'll be crouch jumping all the way up the shaft. As far as I can remember, the Chozo Ruins is the main place you use crouch jumping. After that you get high jump, and then high jump makes it so that any crouch jump, even a crouch jump even, just goes super high. But anyways, now I'll show you this room, at, now I'll show you the landing site at speed. So we would go back to the title screen, I'll save state right here. And then this room at full speed looks like this. Or actually, no, I didn't show you the normal one. Sorry. Anyway, so what you'll be doing in this room is as soon as you spawn, you hit down twice. To, you hit down twice to morph. You come over to this wall. Then you jump once and jump again to go over it. Then mo ball, ball again and head into the room to your left. Like this. Oh, this reminds me. I have one more thing I want to mention to you. Shoot. Um, alright, reset that room. There's one more thing I want to mention to you about, uh, how the rolling on the ball is faster than movement, moving. It's only faster if you're going above, like, six blocks, because you have to, or if you can really, really morph fast. Because you have to ca because when you are morphing and unmorphing, you are completely frozen. You cannot move anywhere. You have no velocity at all until you're finished with the animations. And so you have to take in the account of the time for unmorphing and remorphing whenever you want to use the speed. So for example here, it's useful for there. Then you want to unmorph there. The morph ball physics in this game are interesting in that, like, if you fall more than a block, you will bounce. Bouncing is very slow and rarely useful, except for an advanced technique that I'll be showing later on. It's called spider throwing. It's where you combine the spider ball with any action that gives you upwards momentum in the morph ball. So bouncing, bombing... <coughs> Actually, I'm not sure about bombing. But you never want to spider throw with a bomb anyway, it's too slow. But, uh... You want to be spider throwing a lot, especially we're going to be doing it after we get spring ball, because even, because, you know that jumping is slow, so in rooms where you have to do a lot of jumping, spider throwing, only while moving left, gives you the opportunity to move as fast as if you were running in Varia or rolling on the ground. And so therefore, when you're moving left through rooms, after you get the spring ball, you always, pretty much always want to be spider throwing, if there's, if it's not just flat ground where you can run in the Varia. So this next room here, I'm going to show you, as you can see, I unmorph right here to avoid getting hit. You can also, to avoid, I mean not getting hit, to avoid bouncing. If you're new to the game though, you can also just let yourself bounce and then unmorph down here. Or even just not unmorph at all and just continue rolling. Bouncing doesn't make you lose that much time. I'll try to keep this pretty basic, I don't want to get too complex into room strats, but a lot of, I guess I do a lot of show by, tell, or tell by showing, or, yes, you know what I'm saying, but, uh, I'll show you how the room goes, I'll be moving a little bit slow, because I'll be explaining stuff, I guess I don't need to show every single room at speed, that's an interesting glitch I've never noticed before, apparently when looking up that way, Samus' cannon is vanishing, alright, but, uh, so, reset in this room, you want to be going here, then I unmorph, and then I roll. You can just roll right by all of these enemies. 
nothing will ever hit you if you're rolling in this room. Here, we have our first little thing. I'd like to, you can just do a full jump here. You need to be landing on this platform in this room. Because otherwise you fall and you can lose time and you have to jump back up, which isn't too big a deal. But. So, you come here. I personally do two little short jumps, that'll also get you there, but one long jump works fine if you don't have quick input. And then we get to our first little shortcut of the game. I didn't mean to use a missile there. We get to our first little shortcut of the game right here. You need to morph through here, because going down and around there is really slow, and you should feel bad about going down there. Now here, you fall down. There's two things you can do here to do this, to do this right. You need to be shooting that block, and then you want to be going down into this room. So, if you're fast enough, I sometimes, which I sometimes am, you can just unmorph and shoot. But even I don't always necessarily get that. So, another thing I do to make sure that I hit the block and have my downward momentum is I do a little morph jump coming out of there. If you watch me right there, I'll unmorph and then bounce. And then use that jump to give me the time to shoot down, to get my thumb downwards and shoot down. Now, if you're good at mashing, this next room is really simple. Otherwise, you just, this room right here, down after you get down here. If you're coming down here with ver downward velocity, you can just whoops, I didn't mean jump like that. You can just shoot down, and you can mash right through the room like that. However, if you're slow, it's it's all right. You might get hit a few times, but you can just do that. It doesn't affect your health that much, and it's not too much slower. So I just do this, but I just do this. It doesn't always work, it depends if the enemies are cooperating, but then you just fall down here. And then, see, this is a space where you get not really enough blocks to make it worthwhile to be rolling up and then de-rolling. There is space in the next room, but here's another little technique I'll show you that I found out. If you, if you spin jump just right, Samus will come out of the spin faster and just keep running right along the platform. It especially works when going right, I found. But that's that's still too tall. But you see, right like that. You see how Samus just kind of barely... I think it's actually... You see, she barely even has time for the jump sound to take effect. It's interrupted. So then you just head left through this room. And then I just roll along here since it's a nice long stretch, and then you jump into here. Well, what a lot of people do when they're first when they first started running this game, or when they first tried to do this game quick, is they use this little shortcut here. However, as nice as that seems, it's actually slower. So what you do is you can just roll into a ball, and then if you align yourself on this platform, you won't hit any of the walls. You can unmorph jump at the end there. Or, I believe, you can also just unmorph and fall, so if you hold left on the wall. Ah, uh, maybe not. Either way, you count five- what I do is I count five of these, then I unmorph, jump, and land. You definitely don't want to fall down here, because this goop will slow you down a lot. <coughs> sorry, I've got a cold. But, uh, after that, sorry, after that, you'll come into this room. Now this guy's hopping towards you, all looking all angry and stuff. So what you want to do is there's more advanced strats, but for a beginner, just missile him. There's a lot of little stuff that you'll pick up just by running the game or watching other people's runs, so I guess I won't explain necessarily the fastest strats for each room. I'll just do a beginner's tutorial. So you want to come in here. You can either hit, you need to shoot him, I think, twice. Yeah, twice, and he'll die, or you can missile him. Then you want to roll. Then you do a full jump, do short jumps here, then all the way jump. Now this guy, there's faster ways to kill him, but you can just do that. It's not really a big deal. Oh, by the way, yes, you can, like in Super Metroid, do a spin jump straight up if you tap left and do that. Now, here's the first Alpha Metroid. There's a couple different strats, but I'll just show you the simplest one for him. You want to jump, throw a missile so it's going to be right next to him right when he spawns. And then you can just trap him under there. See? Simple. 
and you can roll back left if you want to be a little bit faster. Now you can stop to shoot this guy. Run along here. The room strats in this game really aren't all that bad. It's nice and easy, nice and simple. Now what you want to do here is if you release a missile right at the correct time in that jump, you'll always hit him. You want to be, I think, for the spin jump is right around here. You want to be like right in the halfway point, and right in the middle of the screen when you do it. Now here is where, actually hold on, let me reset the room, let me re-enter the room. Alright. So what you want to do here is you want to shoot this guy and then jump up. Here's where I'll explain the last major mechanic in this game, the last major speedrunning mechanic in this game. I'll have to do the room at speed to show you. This is damage jumping. Whenever you get damaged in Metroid 2, your jump counter is reset. You can jump again, you get a full jump out of it. Though you can't spin jump because you will, uh... Spin jumping will... Well, rather you can't spin jump, it doesn't let you. It only lets you do a straight jump, but it resets your jump. And so what you can do is here is you just quickly tap jump each time they hit you, and you should do just enough of a jump to make it up here. Then, you can just run to the right. Roll through the room. Remember, all, you always want to be rolling if there's more than six blocks that Samus is running straight. So, like, right here. And if you're not falling. But bouncing isn't too big a deal. Here's the first save station. You can save here if you like. So you can... And you can jump like here. You just want to just keep moving to the right. This isn't like uh, Metro. This isn't like Super Metroid or even like Zero Mission or anything like that. It doesn't get very technical. You just want to fall down, fall down these, jump back up. Now, if you you want to fall right there, don't hold right or you'll hit that enemy. Now these guys suck. They do tons of damage and they take a lot of shots to kill. You can kill them with one shot with missiles, but it's really not worth it to. So, just run, try and run right by them or jump over them if you can. If you shoot that guy before he falls, he shouldn't hit you, but he also shouldn't hit you as long as you just keep holding right. You want to roll up here, then you can either bounce or unmorph there. Either works. You don't want to get hit by him. I was just doing the room slowly. So and Then you shoot this guy and move through here. Now, ow. There's a little optimization you can do here if you're, if you're, once you get a little bit better at the game. Rolling through the acid is a faster than having to jump across all these platforms, but it's not really all that much slower. And so, if you're not confident about your how you manage your health yet, just jump across the ass. Just jump across the platforms. And what you want to do here is you want to be on the far right side of this platform and then just jump straight up. After we get through there, you want to going to hit these guys. If you're good at mashing, you can just hit them. You can also time a missile right. Here's how that room looks like with how I do it with mashing. If I don't suck at mashing, sometimes I don't always get it. You don't need to kill every one of them. But they are a little bit of a health refill. If you well, if you get lucky. And then you want to jump up here. Now there's two different ways to do this room. You can dam you can use a couple damage jumps from these enemies, or you can do what I do for the most part, which is just crisscross the room. Don't crouch jump there, that was dumb. And then roll up at the top. This ne entire next room is all flat, so this saves a lot of time as opposed to running through it. Just jump up here, shoot these guys, you don't need to damage jump off of them, you can. Now this room is the first room where you have to be careful with the enemies. Going on your way over, they should be lagging enough just for you to hit them, as you'll see. But on the way back, they can be much more of a pain, which is why on the way back, I'll show you. I'll just show you right now, even though you don't need to go back. You kind of want to hesitate before each pops up, or you won't be able to hit them, and they'll hit you instead. Yeah, they do a, a, eight damage, so they do a fair amount of damage, so you want to be careful. They infinitely respawn to a point. You actually can make them stop respawning, which is kind of funny. And then, just roll up here. Make sure you have your missiles out to shoot that guy. And then just re-roll and enter the ruins. Save here if you like, if you don't know how well you're feeling about the game. Roll back up. What you do here is you want to 
you don't want to keep holding right because that'll make you bounce or that might make you bounce depending on how quickly you come off that platform what you want to do is just roll onto this then hold right and then roll back left and then you can fall all the way down there without them touching you like this Three, four, five again. And then once you reach the bottom, just jump up here and roll. Note, I won't necessarily be showing you all of my all of my personal room strats because if you're a beginner, you don't need to be making all the tiny optimizations that I do. But you can just unmorph and then roll back up again. You want to equip missiles now just so that you can start shooting the door sooner. Do a short little jump and grab your bombs. Now down here is your also your first missile tank. <coughs> just bomb that. Just drop down here and jump back up. And re-roll. If you look, you've also got your Metroid counter. If you're not sure about how many Metroids are in an area, like you feel you might have forgotten a, a few, just try to remember how many you need. And then you check, you see that L4, that's how many are left in the current area you're in. Now, here is where we use crouch jumping. You use crouch jumping right here, all the way around, all around this shaft, because otherwise you have to do these long jumps, which waste a ton of time. So instead, just crouch jump each of them. Just hold down. Just tap down when you land on the platform, and then hold down for the jump. I re-roll here. Now you need to be careful. This enemy can be a D-bag. Sometimes, I've never been quite sure what creates it. I think it's this, because it gets you trapped in his hitbox. But, you need to be careful how you land on him. If you land on him in a certain way, you'll get trapped in his hitbox and you have to unmorph. See, you get stuck. You get stuck. You can bomb out of it. And that's the only way I know of to get out of it. But you need to get, you need to get some sort of horizontal momentum to get out of it. So, what you want to do is you want to do a short little jump onto him. You do a short little jump onto him. Then you can morph and roll right. Now, unmorph here, jump up here, and grab. This will be the first energy tank you'll get this from. And then you just jump up here, and you roll back up again. Do the same thing for this as the other one. And then just unmorph and come down here. Watch out, because there are enemies right here. Shoot out all the bricks here. Then you want to remorph to go under that enemy. Now, there's a few different ways to get this missile. I will show you all of them. Either you can get it so that you're damaged on it. You can get it so you're damaged by the block as it goes as it reforms and that'll bounce you up there. Here, let me wait. Let me have to respawn. What I do to time that, if you want to get this the top missile first, is you shoot that, then you do three full height jumps. And that'll get you up there right when it's there. Now. now, if you get trapped up here, just crouch. You can either bomb it or you can crouch and shoot down. Now, if you want to get up there faster, you can shoot out the block, then bomb, and then at the top of your arc from your bomb, you do an unmorph jump. That's It's actually faster to get hit by the damage, but only if you get the first. The fastest way is how me and MTI do it, in which you lay your bomb, shoot, then remorph. Because that way you're not taking the extra time to shoot first. You're used to doing it during the bomb timer. Then after that, just shoot downwards out this guy and grab this missile down here and leave the room. You can avoid getting hit by this guy or not. It doesn't really matter too much. You won't lose too much time from it. As long as you do a full jump there, you'll avoid him. So you want to go down you go down to the second block here. I ah, see I messed up. I actually did the room too slow. But, uh, uh watch. This is another damage boost. This will save you another platform of jumping. Just get down there and then tap it. You want you actually kind of want to bonk your head on the platform there, unless you got a really perfect one. And if you did it really perfect with a crouch jump, I believe, then you can just get onto the platform. But bonking your head will usually give you the downwards momentum faster. Watch, I'll show you. I'll show you this room at speed. Or, yeah, just to show you how I do it. See, you spend a lot more time in the air there. So, remorph. You can crouch jump and you'll get it perfectly. Or, if you don't want to crouch jump because that's a rather short window, you can just spin jump 
bonk your head and land. Now you want to do this again for the guy up here. You might need to wait a second, but it's still faster than jumping to both platforms. I do crouch jump here though, because it's, otherwise you need to do like a really short tap. Now, this, now we need to leave this area. Roll across here. You want to shoot three times, shoot, I believe three times. Yeah, three times will kill this, that guy over here. Now. Yeah, you don't want to just hold right here, or you'll end up, or sometimes you'll end up in the pit. It depends. If you just keep holding right, sometimes you'll end up falling in the pit, and then you need to either bomb, you need to bomb out of there or jump back out of there and do it again. What you want to do is as you roll into the room, hesitate just very slightly as you bounce there. Now what I did there is a bit of an unmorph jump. You can also just unmorph and jump out of here. So what I do for this first part of this room, this is the spider ball area, then you unmorph and jump up here. And you want to fall down here since it's faster than trying to than spending all this time in the air. You can just fall down here and do this. Now to get spider ball, we're gonna to want to do a few things quickly. You morph here so that you're when you're falling, you can hold left against that block, and then as you start falling, you want to be holding left here so you don't have to bomb up here or jump up over the top of it and you'll just roll right in. Now you want to shoot these blocks or sorry, you want to shoot both of these blocks out. Wrap around by holding left once you're down past the past here. Then you want to jump right back up with I suggest a crouch jump. That way you get past here without having to re-roll. Because re-rolling wastes a lot of time. Now, to get out of here, you can either do this. Or not quite like that. Shoot, I wrote the state. But uh Wow, I'm bad at this game. But uh here, you can save state. You can quick shoot. <laughs> I can't do it. You quickly tap, you hold it for a certain amount of time with, so you don't go over your full jump height. You get a certain tap and you can land there, like that. Or, if you're a beginner, just fall down here and jump up. It's not too much slower. Then you simply spider ball out of here. Un spider ball, jump up here, and leave the room. You can spider ball out of there, bomb out of there, or just jump out of there really though. No, so you don't go in and ever get the ice beam at this location of the ruins. I know you can, but you don't. Then you want to get to the next alpha, so spider ball up here. See, I turned on my missiles there because I know he's going to be here. A nice simple strat for the strategy for this Metroid is to jump here, lead him up. You can, you can just duke it out, but you don't want to take too much damage. So if you spawn him, you can just stand right here and shoot up might need to lead him around a bit. Or a faster strategy that I do is I unmorph jump here to start start him, then I get up here and I just chain kill him. Either way works. One is just a speed strategy. Now here I'll introduce you to, to spider throwing for the first time. This is not necessary at all if you're just starting running. You can leave it out and you'll still get a pretty respectable you can still probably get a very good time. Especially this spider hole. This is the little optimization, but I just want to introduce you to the concept. So when you're here, notice how, look, I turn spider roll, but it doesn't affect my momentum. However, when I land here, if I press, or sorry, if I, if you watch, if I let myself bounce, and then I spider ball, I get a quick little burst of momentum. So I don't get any here, but if I bounce, I do. That is always is fa it mo makes you move at the same speed as if you were rolled up or running around in the Varia, so it's very helpful. So you bounce and spider ball. I'm doing bad. So here, this has actually got some pretty close timing because you want to make sure you're under that guy before he starts falling back down, or you'll just take damage. So you want to roll left, spider throw, un, yeah, not keep hitting down. You wanna. Roll, you wanna, there's that, and unmorph, and run back into here. Now, this is a nice little long stretch, so you can remorph. And then you wanna do the same thing that you did when you were leaving the one room with the missile tanks. Now, I wanna let him shoot. Now, you need to do a little bit of a more important damage jump. This does not, this isn't just a time saver, this lets you get up here without needing to waste all this time. So you can just 
you can just spider ball up here, and it's not too slow, but it will be faster if you take, you want to take damage from, like, his beak area, and then just hold, and then hit A as soon as you can damage jump. This will get you safely up into his area, up to this area, where you get two, this is the last two items in the upper part of the Chozo Ruin, is the lower half, this, I mean, this is the last item in this Chozo Ruin. <coughs> After this, we have all the items in this area, and we just need to go kill the Metroids. So shoot out here. Roll through. There's a guy here. You can just shoot him as you jump up. Nothing up here, nothing down here. So you can shoot him. Then you want to morph. Grab this one. Now, you can just jump up here. But if you want to be a bit more careful, just crouch jump. It saves you a little time, because you don't need to go to your full jump height. Because otherwise that jump is too tall for you to not go through, to not have your full jump height. Crouch jump lets you save it. You can morph on top of that if you are, have quick enough unmorphing reflexes. See, and then I crouch jump. You want to remorph and come outside. Getting hit by a bomb sucks and it kills your momentum, so... If possible, stay just outside the bomb's radius, then roll. Now, this is another spider throwing strat, really only, but you don't want to get hit by that guy. So you land here, and then you, spy you can spider throw again with the bounce you save. Heading back through here, like I said, ow. Other than the first guy, who you can just kind of dodge usually, or shoot pretty easily, you want to, you know, let me get past these. This. You want to hesitate a little, otherwise they'll come out. MTI, I think he lags them, which is something you can do if you fire enough projectiles, but that's pretty, really pretty advanced strat. You're manipulating how much, how the ram lo loads the enemies. So then, morph here so you can hold left here to follow past these, or hold right, rather. And you want to unmorph and remorph here. Now you can just fall and just take the damage. You can just you can either roll right and then just fall, bounce, or unmorph and roll under him. Or for a bit more of an advanced strat, like if you have like a 50-50 shot of doing that, which is an instant unmorph. You do it by taking damage from an enemy, which forces you up, and then you unmorph right there. You want to bomb this spider ball and hold right so that you're pressed up against it so that you can uh, get on it. And you just roll up into the ceiling. Now, when you're first beginning... Since Alpha Metroid still might be damaging for you, you wanna unmorph. You wanna not unmorph, but you wanna de spider ball here and grab this little energy refill. Nothing to the left. Here. Then you can just spider ball back up and come back up here. Now, if you're an advanced player, you just you waste a few seconds doing this, so you can just skip that. As long as you have enough health, I usually go if I have above like 75 health, I'm fine. Now, we come over here. There's going to be an enemy right under you, so shoot down, and then shoot a bunch to kill that guy. Like this. Or you can just do that, too. Now, yeah. That's why you want to kill him, because if you don't know what you're doing, he can hit you. So, then you do this. Now, what you want to do is you want to shoot out the sand, and then just fire one missile to kill that guy. And then morph. Then you can just bounce, and land here. Now... This room, I actually came up with strategy myself. You're, you're going to want to mimic me, essentially, through the entire thing. Because if you see, if you're just running through here, these guys get in the way. You take damage. No one likes damage. So, if you watch the timing of my missiles, I have visual cues. The center of this platform, I shoot a missile. I jump. Center of this platform, I shoot a missile. After I pass the blocks on that platform... No, Alright, here. Why don't I do this at, like, half speed if I can? Can I turn down the speed in the emulator? I want to say I can. There gotta be some way. Huh. Maybe there's not. Alright, well, this isn't a task emulator, so I guess I can't expect too much. Who else is in the chat, anyways? Did I lose some Mario? Oh, Ryan Roisner. Hello, Ryan. How are you? So anyways, as I was saying, you run right, it's the center of this platform, the center of this platform, then if you are, once you're past the blocks on that platform, and the center of that platform. That's how I do my little visual cues for that room. It's different, it's a different set going back to it, so I'll show you when I go back. 
Um, here. Quick note to you guys. There's gonna be an alpha just to your right. Don't fall in this pit. No matter how you fight that alpha, don't ever fall in this pit. Because I cleared it out there, but if you watch, you actually cannot... It kills your momentum, so you can't jump out of there. So you have to shoot out all the stuff. Get it all out of the way. In order to be able to jump out. Which wastes, like, probably, like, at least 10 seconds, unless you're really quick about it. Plus, it just does a lot of damage, and you don't want your health to get messed with. So avoid that at pretty much all costs. Now, how I deal with this alpha is if you let him run at you and just shoot a missile... Or, that's not how you do it. But if you shoot a missile just before he charges you, you can kind of carry him. See, I almost landed in it there. But if you get lucky, then you can... Then if you're lucky, he'll run with you, and you can do it faster. You want to be close to the door as possible, so you're not wasting time running to it. Any questions, Ryan? Or are you here to watch this? Or are, did you just kind of end up here? I'm just wondering. So you kill him like this. You don't need to take the damage there. Actually, yeah. I'm trying to show you, trying to show you guys the, my, my, op, my, pretty much, my pretty optimal strat. That does not involve me falling in the pit that I told you all not to fall in. If you're gonna fall, if you're gonna fall in there, try and take damage from the Metroid and da jump back out. If you're just getting started, you can also take advantage of this little trick here, where you shoot the Metroid when he's frozen on screen, he'll take damage from the missile, and then you can just kind of trap him above you. Or even simpler still, use your little damager, and then just try and keep him pinned to the right. That's kind of, that actually can be more challenging though, depends on how you fight him. But yeah, this is how I do it. Then you're right near the door. Now, to go back through this room, it's a different strategy again. You run in here, then I hesitate, shoot my first missile. The center of this platform, I shoot my second. Near the edge of this one, I shoot my third. And then near the edge of this last one, I also shoot my fourth. This room is pretty simple. You can just ta tap, jump quick, tap, jump again, and there. So when you're, then you want to fall down here, and you can shoot, you just want to shoot right down so you get that enemy. This room is a carbon copy of the last one you fought the Alpha in, including that horrible, horrible pit. On SDA? On the forums, I guess, maybe? Huh. But, you just kill him the same way you killed the other one and jump back out. Strat the strategy, though, leaving this room is a bit different than entering the other shaft. You want to have your missiles equipped, then you jump in here and fire one missile to kill him so he doesn't hit you. And then you can keep moving. It's essentially in one smooth motion, like this. Passing interest? Well, if you have any questions at all, please feel free to ask them. Um, you're going to want to go and rewatch the start of this tutorial, though, for explanations of some of the techniques I'm using, if you don't already know them. I explained uh, unmorph jumping... I explained uh, damage jumping, like, I'll just show, I'll just give you an example. Damage jumping, which is just taking damage from an enemy and using it to jump again. Rolling, which is always faster than running until you get the Varia suit. And spider throwing doesn't come into play for a little while longer, so I'll show you it really more later. There's just a few little optimizations you can make with that. But so here what you can do is, I just roll across there, and you'll make that every time as long as you unmorph. And then you jump to the left here. You just keep jumping and running through this room. Alright, fair enough. Now this Metroid here can be a pain. You can just trap him to your left by doing like that, and it's pretty easy, but it takes a lot of time. I can show you my personal strategy, which is to let, lead him on up here, and then you can trap him, and then if you get lucky, you can actually get all five missiles in on stuck in on him up here. If you can get him to run up into the corner there. Or you can just get a few hits in on him like that. You gotta be careful not to really get hit by him, though, otherwise that can mess you up. It's a really... you gotta time it just right, because you gotta get him moving towards the corner when you're last doing that. If you can even get a hit or two on him while he's up there, that's guaranteed. The strat is he is working. Yeah. There's quick and easy ways to kill them. See, like that, how I got all f how I got four of the five hits in there on him? That 
is the almost optimal. Oh, done completely right, my strategy can get all five hits on him. But it mostly depends on how the Metroid decides to move, because Metroids have a ton of RNG and they suck. You wanna see you don't want to do it on the second one though. You wanna have him run towards you once, jump up, lead him into the corner. You have him charge you once, jump straight up, get him because you want to get you want to try and get him so that he does a second charge directionally into the corner so you can fire right up at him so charge move a little bit right and then you want to if you can start firing them when you're falling that'd be the best and then you just move left or move to the right and jump back out of the room tell me how I'm doing if there's any questions you want to know about the game please just feel free to ask this is my first time ever doing a tutorial. And feel free to spread the word. I'm going to be on probably. This tutorial is probably going to last a few hours. So if anyone else, if you hear about anyone else caring, please let me know. The way I do this room, you don't have high jump yet, so just jump all the way across, take damage, and damage jump. Now, it's almost the same thing here, except you just jump twice, and then hold jump left, and damage jump there. You can kill him with a missile again if you you can just kill the I don't I knew these guys names at some point but I don't remember it anymore. You kind of just want to kill these guys by mashing cuz there's not really a good time to actually get a missile off at him. But you want to kill him and then you can just jump right up here. You can, there's a little ledge there that you can just spin jump around onto and jump up again here. Now I have a lot of health here. But I always do it, because I'll usually have a lot less health, but I've been using save states and such. You want to grab this refill on your way out of the area. Then you bounce, layer bomb. Now, let me, re let me redo, actually, so he's not on screen. So I go here, grab the refill, fall, bomb. And then I, if I take the damage from him, I can just do a damage jump right up. Or you can do what I did for a while when I was still practicing. Just run through there, kill him, and just spin jump right around there. It's simple. Either way. So you can do this for damage boosting through this room. Or you can damage you can use your damage jumps to go through there, or you can just kill these guys and jump up. I'm trying to show the beginner and my advanced strat for each room. So you roll here, unmorph, bounce, bounce, jump. You need you do need to damage jump after each of them. So if you watch you take the damage bounce, take the damage jump. Actually, hold on. Let me make sure. You might not have to uh jump after the Oh yeah, you do. That'll get you that'll get you on the first platform if you don't jump. So you want to take damage jump, take damage jump, and it looks really cool actually to me. And then you want to roll through here since it's fast. Now, what I do here I'm sure there's another way to do this, but you can just shoot straight down, do that, and roll up again. The lava's gone, so it's a bit easier to go through this room. You don't have to worry about taking damage. You just want to kill these guys with a missile or however you want to do it, shooting them. Now, and then we re-enter the first tunnel. Now, Empty Eye and I both do a little hop there to avoid hitting that guy, because these guys do too much damage. See, if you just run off the edge and you're not careful, you'll hit off him and you'll take some damage. It's mostly, but see, it's mostly if you're like really moving quick. But see, yeah. You want to just, just equip missiles right here at the start of the room. Then you can fall around here, roll up again. Now, if you're doing this room relatively slowly or quickly, you can just shoot a missile there and you'll hit that guy. But you shouldn't need to as long as you're doing, not as long as you aren't going extremely quickly through the rooms. Yeah, these guys take way too many shots to kill. Always kill them with a missile if you have to kill one. So leave your missiles equipped here, and then sometimes you can just do that and kill that guy. There's no point in morphing here because you'd be bouncing too much, but I do morph here. Then you can wait for these guys to go. Done right, let me redo the room. Let me restart the room. Save state. I roll into the room, come up here, and then I roll again past them. Then I use the, the bounce from the jump, because that'll make my jump just the right height to get up here. You can also just run in here, jump up there, and you'll make it by them. 
Also, you can just grab some health from them if you want to kill them. Those guys keep cycling until you kill them, then they'll stop. So, like this, for example. This is how I do the room. Not like that, but... There. And then, see, I take the... I do the little jump there. What MTI does is just he jumps up here, then just goes around and jumps again. I find that just a little bit slower, at least it seems like it is to me. So, I'll, I would start here. I would roll, unmorph, jump, roll again, bounce, jump. Now, you can just unmorph here, remorph again, because this is a long stretch of floor, and head left. Now you want to jump up here. Now, usually I would say damage jump. I don't say damage jump here. Don't try to avoid damage jumping on enemies here, because the first major trick of this run, the first, like, really big deal, uh, missile management is actually not as much a part of the run as you would think. Except for, there's a, f there's a few parts, you, but generally you'll get missile refills near where you need the missile anyways. There's like maybe two or three points where, you, like, let's see. There's just after you kill two of the three Zetametroids, and then there's a, leaving, leaving this area here, when you're on your way out of this area, your missiles will be a little low, and there's a missile recharge right at the bottom of the start of the next area. But no, other than that, just make sure you aren't wasting missiles. Like, don't frivolously shoot them into the air, but, like, missing a few on a Metroid shouldn't kill you. In any percent, missile management is a big deal. You can actually risk running out on, like, the Omega Metroids and stuff like that, but that's not my category, so I don't really worry about that too much. Oop, shut up, phone. So, you don't need to roll here, but just equip missiles now, because there's a Metroid coming up. These guys. These guys suck. They are invincible. You cannot kill them in any way. And if you land on them, whoosh. This is pretty much a run killer for anyone who's not new to the game. Because they will pull you down into the sand. It sucks. Blah, blah, blah. You, have to, you can get stuck. You can actually get almost perma-stuck if you get stuck by them. So what you want to do is... Oops. I realized that was quite there, but... uh. Yeah, jump up here. I actually avoid him by shooting him. Actually, you shouldn't be spin jumping. You should just be straight jumping. It's a little bit faster. So what I do is I leave my missiles equipped because there's no point in not having them. Not get stuck on him. Morph there. Morph again here to roll under him. And then I've actually started considering I'm just going to start jumping because morphing and unmorphing is so slow. All right, here. Just jump these little pits, but you jump the first two pits here. Now, um, the difference between any percent and 100% is any percent collects the amount of items you need to do the game the fastest way possible without going for like extra expansions. There's also low percent, which I don't think is ever really run in Metroid 2. I don't think there is a Metroid 2 low percent, which is completing the game with the least amount of items possible. But any percent you skip a lot of the stuff in order to get faster, but in 100% you collect every single item in the game that's necessary. The reason that I skipped the ice beam there, and I'll be skipping all the other beams where you usually would get them, is because it's actually slower to get them there. There's a hallway in the one of the later areas. There's a vertical hall, there's a vertical shaft with all four of the different elemental and different property beams right along it, and so you collect you. By the Metroid 2 community decided that you only need to collect each beam once. You don't need to collect them at all their spawn locations. So, what you need to do, so what you just do, is you just climb that little shaft and get them all, and then you grab the ice beam from the bottom of that and head out and use the ice beam for the rest of the game. You need the ice beam because in the end area, you get, you will, uh, need to kill some larval Metroids, like the Metroids from the original Metroids that have appeared in all the games. The, the ones that actually look like je flying jellyfish. Now, back to the game. Now, like I said, you want to jump over the first two pits, but fall in the third one, because that's where this alpha will be. Then you can jump, you can head under him, not like that, but if you f do like this, you can shoot a missile under him and then keep juggling him as you run left. 
In this game in particular, there's a fair amount of difference. You skip, as far as I know, high level any percent runners skip a lot of the missile packs. And probably a few energy tanks too. Especially, they skip... Yeah. You need at least a certain amount of energy to kill the queen, I know. And you need a certain amount of missiles to kill the metroids. So you need to get a few tanks, but for the most part... It's a low. It's a very low item run. You have to do a. You have to, especially on the Omega Metroids. Like I said, you can actually risk running out, and that. Ugh, it's the idea of that is horrible. Because there's nowhere good near the Omega Metroids to recharge missiles either. So you have to spawn this. You have to keep farming this one enemy that may or may not drop a five missile drop, and it's just ugh, not my speed. Thank you. So, anyways. Jump these two platforms. Omega Buddy up there will spawn. Like this. You want to kill him like this. You can chain... You don't want to take damage from him. But if you fall, you fall in here. Not doing that, but uh, fall. Shoot a missile up. Then you can... You might get hit a few times. It's not a big deal. But you can try and bounce him towards the door. By running under him and shooting up. Leave your missiles. I'll do it one more time. I'll show you how it looks. Uh... I'm gonna show you how it actually should look. Sort of like that. Except Metroid's been giving me crap patterns. Yeah, Metroids are the biggest, sing single biggest source of RNG in this entire game. That's sort of how you wanna do it, yeah. That's a good example. Leave your missiles equipped. Because you can just fire them here. And have a chance to re recover some missiles if that guy drops one. And then aim up here and shoot again. You can get missiles from that guy. Now, here is where you get the first big divergence from the standard Metroid 2 path. This is going to be a bit of an advanced technique. I'm, I'm going to assume that you're at least familiar enough that you know the basics of the game and that spring ball is on the top of this. So, if you want to do it, if you don't want to be doing an advanced set of damage boosts, just head, head to the left here and go and get spring ball like you normally would by climbing the left side of the building and then heading around and then spider ball up to it. You want to get spring ball first, but it's just much, much slower to go the other way. So you jump up here, then you spider ball. This is going to need to be done pretty quick. So you, you jump back up here. This guy will be falling. Morph. Just keep holding left. Nothing will hit you as long as you hold left there. Now, start climbing this wall. This guy will come in. Hesitate for just like, even just a millisecond. Just let go of your up for just a second, and then you'll get past him. This grabs this missile pack. Now, here's where you get the thing. This is why you want to have really, really good health here. And there's going to be a big set of damage boosts. You can either... J this, the way to do it, if you, want, if you have a little more health, is just take damage from him. Take damage from him until you're up here. Keep bouncing on these guys until you reach the top. Like that. Now, you won't necessarily always have as much health as I did there, so you... I don't necessarily recommend doing that, but the other way is a bit more execution heavy. The other way you do it is you come out here, then as soon as you roll out of here, you unmorph, and you do an unmorph jump. Then you need a few less damage boosts to get up here. Notice how I have a bit more health. I'll show you this again, and I'll show you both ways again. Not like that. Uh, see? No, nope, not like that, though. That's that's That was actually a completely different glitch where you unmorph and you can take... Yeah, stop. I need to stop doing that. So you want to unmorph. Either way, you want to unmorph as soon as you leave the shaft. Then unmorph, jump, and then you can take damage, jump twice. Take damage from him, bounce off him again, and then you get to the top. You can kill that last guy with a missile. He's un unimportant. Or, if you want to do it faster, do that. Take damage from him once. Take damage from him and take damage from him a couple times and then you can just kill both of these guys and they're unimportant um... is that a suitable explanation? do I need to explain unmorph jumping again or anything like that? You just unmorph and then within a few frames of unmorphing you hit jump and then you can do the same thing with dam getting damaged I'll do it one more time at speed this is, a re this is really important but it's also really hard and I've actually myself lost a lot of runs to this particular trick See, you can if you mess up there, you can mess it up. And you don't want to get bounced right, also. You want to be trying to stay to the, close to the wall as possible. Um, oh, see, that's another thing that can happen to you. 
if you don't, if you are too close to the wall, Samus, for some reason, I figured out she can't unmorph if she's touching a wall for some unknown reason. If you see, it's I, sometimes I rather sometimes it'll morph lock her. So you want to do that? Bounce off that. Bounce off the top of the spikes. Bounce off that enemy. Bounce off that enemy, and you're at the top. Now, this guy shoots these things. They lag the game up. Uh, you can either just you can do one of three things here. Let me uh, let me do this again. I want to actually show. Actually, no, I don't have enough health. What am I doing? <laughs> these things you can either kill to try and get a. If you're an un if you're not very confident about your health total, he does these things. So you can just farm on them for a bit, or and then jump on him when he's low. Be careful, he does do a lot of damage. Or you can just. Sorry, I messed up. I messed up. You want to do it when he's on the ground, so you can. Th that's how it'll be when he's first coming out. You can jump over him like that. You can wait for him to go down, or you can shoot these guys for health. When you're just getting started, I'd say get some health back, because more health never hurts in this run. And then just jump down here. Uh, no, actually, all all those enemies right there have no RNG. They will always do the same thing as soon as they appear on screen. You, that's why it's a very it's a, it's a, it's very consistent once you know how to do it as long as you don't mess up the timing of your jumps but no you, you can't get screwed by rng luckily speak also speaking of rng arachnus who we're about to fight has no rng either as long as you move in the same way he will always do the same thing so you want to morph here because you got this long haul and then just spam missiles here now this is the first this is the first and only real non metroid boss so you want to shoot as soon as you enter the room let arachnus spawn you want to lay the bombs just before he unrolls and then he will he only rerolls when you lay another bomb see that's how you get a perfect two round arachnus usually i'll mess it up a little bit i'll, I'll lay a bomb too early like this that's actually did it right but if you shoot him and then you lay a bomb too early and then you can only have two on screen. Wow, he's actually cooperating far more than he usually does. I'm trying to show you how to do it wrong. <laughs> See, he's invincible when he's balled up. So you might end up having to do a two or a three round Arachnus. As soon as you do any sort of enemy projectile, he will take damage. Be careful, he can do a lot of damage to you really quick. Watch. Watch how happens when I stand still and keep running into him. He does like 20 damage when you cl collide with his body. This can kill you really fast, especially if you are at low health from coming from that jump. So you want to be make sure you're nice and careful to avoid him. That's see that's what usually happens when I end up messing up and getting a two a two or a, th a multiple round arachnus, a more than two round arachnus. You can never one round arachnus. He takes six bomb hits to kill. You can two round him if you do everything just right, and he doesn't hit you coming up from any of the stuff. But see, it's kind of hard to do. Actually, I'm not. I need to remember. How, I need to memorize how to do it myself. There's a certain way you need to move, avoiding your own bomb blasts. Not like that, because he'll re-roll as soon as another bomb is exploded or laid. Three to four round is usually what I expect from him. So if you don't get a two round, don't get mad. It's completely reasonable. Even the best of us miss it. Yeah, sometimes I'll even mess up further. It's mostly, it's pretty much just how he wants to play. If you can lay them all like that, you'll get a two-round Arachnus every time. But, don't get mad at yourself if you don't. Please. Now here, since this is a bit of a closed environment, now that Arachnus is dead, nothing is going to be any problem here, I'm going to explain the finer mechanics of spider throwing. Spider throwing... For one reason, for some reason, that we have literally no idea how, spider throwing only works when you're moving left. Something to do with your horizontal velocity that spider ball affects. At any point, I think even when you're coming down, as when when you're coming down, yes, as long as you're coming down and going left from a jump, you'll always get it. But you need to have had some sort of vertical velocity on the morph ball at some point. So you can do it as soon as you jump, or you can, depending on the room, you can wait until you do that. What's that? 
a uh, long time. Uh, I told you to in the bedroom. I need the bathroom, so it's going to go into your little thing in there. Yeah, it wouldn't. So you may want to do a shot, but I need the bathroom.